What's up, geniuses? Welcome back to For The Record. I'm your host, Rob Markman. Now, today's guest is no stranger to the building, okay? You might have seen him on our Verify series, breaking out songs like Real Me or Say Nah. Now he's back with a new project called Time Service, featuring Future, The Baby, Lil Baby, Meg The Stallion, and of course himself, the star of the show. Moneybag Yo is here, For The Record, man. What's Welcome. up, bro? What's up with you? Yo, thank you for coming through, man. What's up with it? How you doing, man? What's good? I'm feeling good. I'm blessed. I'm yeah. trying to serve out right now. Yeah, man. You know, it's funny, you know, for those that's been following your career for a long time, we know federal is your thing, the federal mixtapes. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, and you had a bunch of follow-ups to federal, federal three times, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of like in that series and in that genre. So when I hear a title like Time Served, it feels like it falls in line. I feel in that like thing. it come up. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's actually like the fourth one. It's like the last... The last version of it, like I just did my on my last project, Forever Heartless. Yep. I just ended the whole Heartless series. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, uh, I did the first federal, then I did two federal with Gotti, three uh federal three times and nine times serves. Like That's the what what when you kinda open and close these chapters, like what does it really mean musically? Is it like a stylistic change? Like Yeah, I mean not a stylistic change because really like the stuff that I'm really trying I'm breaking out now is like I've been doing it. Right. I, I already been doing it. Just like the world accepted me on nothing but gangster shit. Like right. you know what I'm saying. So it's like I'm just letting y'all know. Like I'm versatile. I can do all type of things. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know that 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 that's a lot of credit. Like when you really kind of listen to your discography, like you do a lot of things well. And go like obviously it's the street and the trap shit. Yeah. We we talked off camera about um the introspective stuff. I really I like is my favorite stuff from you. But even things like real love and stuff like that. <clears> like <throat> you got a huge woman fan base as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah for that, sure. That that you sure. you're not afraid. I think a lot of artists, especially street artists, be like hesitant to cater to or hesitant to make those records that yeah. more so speak to how a woman feel. Exactly. And and, and and you don't hold back when it comes to that. No, I can't. Like because like, like one thing y'all always got to remember the kids. And the women, they're gonna buy your, they're gonna buy the music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else, they just gonna follow. They just gonna follow what they doing. So you know what I'm saying? I cater to to that. But at the same time, like I ain't even. It's like I'm just, I'm just speaking on what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? What I seen. You know what I'm saying? Or what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Or or want to what kind of all kind of goals I want to accomplish. So it's just like that's all I'm speaking on. It's like everybody going going through these situations throughout the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, I'm just telling like how it is, mm -hmm. but it just make me feel even better that people to embrace the music how they do it. So with time serve, kind of closing the federal chapter, what what is it that we'll, we're gonna see maybe less of from you, and what is it that we're gonna see? Nah, more from I don't, you? I don't even. I'm just, I'm just closing it like this mm -hmm. series out. Okay, I'm just closing the series. I'm still gonna talk the same talk okay. I've been talking. You still gonna, you know what I'm saying? You still gonna feel me. I'm still gonna pop it. I'm gonna do all that. You know what I'm saying? But. Okay. It's just it's closing it chopped out. You know, man, my my favorite joint when you get introspective, when you get cause you start getting into the mentality like we hear the actions on certain records and then there's certain records where we hear the the, the mental steps that it that, exactly. that it takes. So sometimes the toll that a lifestyle takes on you. Mm -hmm. So my favorite song on the project, like honestly, might be Thug Cry. Yeah. That's one of my that's one of my favorites, like real real talk like. Even the like the process of me making it, like well, that's just what riding in the roads. I'm in the roads. I'm looking out the window. I'm smoking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just thinking like all the people like that I started with. Most of the people that I started with, they ain't with me today. Like, like you know what I'm saying? It, it affect me sometimes. Like and we try to like we try to get over it like by just staying busy and staying like doing stuff. But then it's like you gonna have that time. It just sit. You be like, Damn, I wish Elo was here. He can, you know what I'm saying? He can share this with right. me. Like. You know what I'm saying? It's just, well, it's you talk about it. you got the line. I was riding solo. Swear to God, I saw Elo. Yeah, I, I saw a ghost. I swear to God, it happened to me. Like, yeah. Like, I I just didn't. I don't like speaking on stuff like right. that because people think you crazy sometimes. Like, right. but I'm dead serious. Like, I'm riding one day. I'm in the Hellcat at this point. This mm -hmm. this is like a couple months back. I'm in I'm in the Hellcat though. Boom. I'm riding. I'm on the slab. It just it's like I felt his presence. You know, mm -hmm. it's like I felt he was right there. And I look back, it's like I seen some kind of shadow. Like I swear to God, like it just I, I felt like he was in the car with me that day. Let's get into a little bit of that backstory because you definitely again those who have been like really in tune to your campaign for years know Elo. Like he gets shouted out in songs. Like yeah. you had the mixtape. Everybody lives on. And he hit up you, on my face. I got him tatted on my face. Yeah. Was like my brother. He 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 like. He motivated me like he wanted me to make it more than I wanted to make it myself. He knew I was gonna make it. He knew what I was gonna be today. Like 
You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He he got me loving diamonds and all mm-hmm. this. Like he got me doing all this. Like so, you know. How how long has it been since 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 you've been without him? It's been it's been at least about five years. Five years. It's going by so fast. though. have been like five years though. Right, but you know it is it, it, is is dope how you still um hold him up. No, no, you got and, to, you and, got and, to, and his legacy up. So it's like I I feel like every every you know album tape mixtape like we get a shout yeah. to him, and that, and that, that's why I say you know there's certain fans who who pay attention to the singles. And that and that's good. And then those who really dig deep, deep into your catalog, there's a real storyline exactly. that's been going through this whole thing for many years. Yeah. Um. So what's the process of thug, a thug crowd? You so you said you was just riding the roads with the beat playing. Yeah, it's just reflecting. You know what I'm saying? Are you writing in your head? Are you like coming up with lyrics in your head at that point? Then to go to the studio or, or like how does the writing process? Sometimes you know what I'm saying. If I'm I'm just I'm in motion. Sometimes I don't have the. I don't have time to just sit down and write. Like I ain't wrote in so long. Like right. so, it's like I'm in motion so much. I might break out my phone and do like the voice record. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I voice record it and then like I mumble some and then I go to the studio and do it. Most of the time, I come up with it when I hear the beat or when I'm in the studio. Mm-hmm. So it's just different process. Um, you know, I, I, Doug cried too. It was funny. I was listening. And and you did the interview with my man at the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne Envy. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, my yeah. peoples. Um, yeah, for sure. you got the line too much lean fucking up my kidney. Yeah. And 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 listening to that, like, and again, cause the type of song that that is and the weight that's on that song, like everything, not to say that everything you say isn't real, but yeah. I feel like on, on songs like like this, when you say it, 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 I'm just like, man, this this is super real. So yeah, yeah. And then you talk. On the Breakfast Club about um, actually done. quitting lean and you're yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, so good. it made me start to think. Well, how how bad did it really get for you? I mean, like it's just you know like how how it make me feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, like when I perform, like when I perform, you can feel it. Like it slow you down. It just it's like it ain't even really right for you, bro. Like on some real stuff. Like, mm-hmm. but it's like then I'm trying to try like a cleansing. I'm trying to go the healthy route. Cause like we ain't getting younger. Right. You know what I'm saying? We getting older, so you got to prepare yourself for when you get. It a so it won't affect you then, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's almost to it, and I bet I hear a lot of um, artists talk about, it, especially when you're performing on your on the road a lot. Yeah, like it's it's a lot like being an athlete, and when you hear stories about, I think LeBron invests a yeah. million dollars back into his body. Yeah, a year. Like, like I didn't know that. Kind of, yeah, I, don't quote me on the number, but I think it's something like they said, like LeBron takes a million dollars every year and invest it. Like that's his diet, that's his trainers, that's the thing to have his body right, right? So oh, he can yeah. perform yeah. on the court. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and you got to imagine for for an artist and you're on stage every night. Like there's a physical toll. You city to city, plane to plane, jump on stage, jump off stage. There's a physical toll exactly. that he weighs on you. Yeah, for sure. So you're so you're done, done. I'm done, but it's like I'm done. I'm done. It's it's I'm tough done. too. It's, it's I got cool. Kel Bernard. Like right. I'm trying to say, like. It just sometimes it's just like it's with anything you do, like it's 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 a process getting off of right. it. You know what I'm saying? It's a process, it's hard. Like it, you gonna first you're gonna slow down, you're gonna you're gonna yield a little bit, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Then eventually you just gonna stop, you're just gonna hit the brakes and you ain't gonna even be going that way no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's I'm in the process of just stopping. I'm gonna say that I, I wanna be one thousand with you, one K. That's cool. And, and that's why and that's why I ask, because I think it's important to hear because I think people who who don't maybe live that lifestyle, yeah. it'd be easy to judge. Yeah, it's and, easy and, to and, judge. And, and I think the people who actually sit leaning and on it, and and the days when they wake up and feel like, yo, I need to be done with this shit, but they can't. It's need no to difference. hear you say how hard it is. It's work. It don't yeah, yeah, happen. Yeah. It's it work. Thing, it's just like with any bad habit that you got. It might like your habit might not be drinking lean or. Or um or smoking weed or whatever it is, it might be something else. Like yeah. you might have a crazy spending habit. Like right. you, you know, it is what it is. Like it's just it's slow. It's a process of getting off everything you do. Right, that's real. Now nah, I appreciate you sharing that too, because I, I think a lot of times we hear about lifestyle and the music, and and then hearing about the reality of of really what goes into it. Exactly, I think it's important. <clears throat> you also say on the hook, man. I I might shed a tear while I record and. <laughs> These songs again, highly emotional, right? Like thinking yeah. out loud is another song like that. Um, thinking you know, out loud was one of them, one of the ones I was just venting. Like I right. really, it was like more of, it was more of anger, right? Like, yeah, was, like then little, um, <laughs> we heard the sound then effect, then a thug cry. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like so, so that's the, what that what made them different. Cause mm. thinking out loud is more like anger, but it's like I'm, I'm letting y'all know I ain't, ain't got to get loud. I ain't got to get tough with it, but I'm letting you know what it is. Right. Most definitely, you know right. what I'm saying? Um. 
Do you ever get to the <clears throat> moments where you get caught up in the booth and, and, and you get emotional yourself? Like, Most definitely. I did, I did it with the uh, cry. It was one. It was, it was one of those. It was one right, of them ones. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then I had. I got a song. I'm put. I'm, I'm gonna drop a deluxe. I'm gonna add like four songs, mm. like in a minute, in a couple, probably a couple weeks. And it's like it's one song on there called "See the Top." It's like it's another one of the ones. Like I know mm. they going the world's just gonna they gonna feel it. So, so what's the situation that made you write thinking out loud? It, it, it's funny because it's it's a lot of um, <clears throat> it's a lot that's said and it's a lot that's unsaid yeah. when it comes to that song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's, oh, just, it's, it's thinking out loud. It's just, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? Stuff going on back in the town. You know what I'm saying? Back in the city. You know what I'm saying? People think you owe them. People think, you know what I'm saying? Just because you got certain in certain situations, you can't do this no more. Like, like you know, like barring me from certain situations. Like you can't do that. Like, hmm. like I, where I'm come from. Like I'm that nigga where I come from. Like so I just it's like me. I had to like I had to let them know. I had to let them know that you ain't finna tell me like what I can, what I can't do in hmm. my city. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's where I was I was coming from on that. And it's just like, man, like quit thinking I owe you something, I don't owe you nothing. Like, why are you even speaking, bro? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. we ain't gotta talk about this. Right. This ain't up for discussion. It, it, it I gotta imagine that's stressful, like, cause cause you're changing, right? Like yeah. your circumstance is changing. The, the world, your world is getting a I wanna lot say, bigger. I don't mean to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I wanna say I'm changing. I say I say I'm changing for the better though. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm changing for the better. Like I can't do the same stuff I used to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like it come with the position. It come with what I'm tr- my goal. It come with the goals I'm right. trying to reach. I can't stand on the block and hang with you all day no more. Like you can't get mad at that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, and I'm not finna. I take my chances with God before I let somebody extort me out something or like feel like man, right. you got to give me this or boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right. that ain't gonna happen. Like. It's just, it's just, it's just me, and, like at that point. And that's the grown pains. I feel like we all love where we come from. Yeah. And sometimes, no, no, no. We yeah. most definitely right. like even, even when I be on the road, I be on the road so much, and then I, I go like back it, to the city, just feel like, man, like I'm, I'm at home. Like, right. I know I don't need to be around here too long, but I'm at home. Like, what's your favorite thing to do in the city when you touch, when you touch back when to I town? Touch, I just like to go get with my family. Like right. first, first things first, I'm going to get with the kids. I'm going to get with the family. You know what I'm saying? Then of course I'm gonna go to the studio. Right. Uh, we got this little spot we go to, like half shell, you know what I'm saying? East End Grill, we post up, like, yeah. I gotta ask you about these Memphis Grizzly games, though. I know, I know, Zebo meant so much, yeah, to the town. You know, he he used to play for the Knicks. He's one of the the Knicks ain't have so much to root for. I'm a New York guy. I actually we, stopped liking the Grizzlies after Zebo got out of there, but then they got my dog. Uh, uh, John, uh, what's his name? John Morant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Morant. Well, you know that was going to be my question it's hard to now. Pronounce like, his name. They got him over there like he, he mean real business. Like he mean a real business over there way. So, you know what I'm saying? And he got the team, he got the city looking real good right the now. The city looks amazing. Like every time you turn on Sports Center, the highlights is amazing. Yeah, so, John Morant, shout and, out to you. And, and I know, you know, that was kind of my question. I know what Zebo meant to the city. Yeah, over exactly. There and how much he invested in, yeah. in the local. City when he played for there and, and him leaving mm. kind of left the dent. Yeah. Um. But it feel like it's back, man. Yeah. It most definitely do. Nah, that's dope. Um. Federal man with future man. Yeah. When, when that's did, one of my favorite ones too. I said I got a couple. I got a couple. He gave you one of them classic. Man, it's future. Crazy. He was talking that talk, man. Yo, my dog. They be telling me that all the time. They tell me like, cause we been riding to this. Yeah. Like they, just, the world just got it. But we been riding to it. They like, man, this one of them. Like it's the dirty sprite. You did, know what I'm saying? Did y'all do that in Miami? Because I, I, I know I heard, heard the story on. Um, shout to it's the real. I know you did the it's the real sure. podcast. No, we did, we actually did it in Atlanta. Okay, had, but then it's so crazy. Like the chorus and the beat on this song is like three years old. It's 2020 right now. It was 2017 okay. when I made that, that hook. You know what I'm saying, and, and to that beat. So, but I did a new verse, and then I put him on it and put him on the verse. Yeah. Did you know now? Now everybody's talking about his verse, and, and, and that he took shots at um Scotty Pippen. Oh no, it, I ain't it's know. It's speculation. <laughs> you, you didn't catch when you caught it before you. Did you anticipate this? I ain't look you see at him it. on Twitter talking about. I ain't it now. look at it like that. Right. I ain't look. I ain't never look at it like. See, right. the people they so crazy. They mean right. so much in the, like in a, in the business. Like. Right. It is what it is. But but you just but it's one of them ones. No, it's man. one like of them. Going. It's one of them verses for sure, though. Right. Yeah. All right, man. Um, you know, another big news is is, is it was recently announced. Though I think people knew it 
for a while, because cause you was rapping for for a little while now, yeah. Um, since even um, since the last project, but that you signed with Rock Nation Management, yeah, yeah, right. Management. Um, and of course, Yo Gotti is your partner. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw this news. I wanted to know what you thought about it. Um, Jay Z and Gotti are spearheading this lawsuit on behalf of twenty nine Mississippi inmates. Yeah. Over inhumane conditions. Did, did you hear about this news? Yeah, yeah. He just was telling me about it last night. He didn't give me all mm-hmm. the full details, but we was in the studio last night. He was telling me something about it. What What, what do you think about stuff like? Because one thing I I, I got to give it up to Rock Nation and, and 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 the team over there. Like, is music, and I think they put their artists in 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 positions to to win over yeah. their music and great business decisions. Yeah. But there's a lot that goes on over there for the community. At, at, as well, there's a lot of social conditions. They help a lot of people out, and, and, and seeing this, does that inspire you? Knowing that this is your team now, like, like, what are some of the things that you eye got your eye on? I got my own. Like, I'm transitioning to fashion film. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we trying to work something out, like with the sports, like something I can do, like mm-hmm. in the sports over there. But it's just like it's, it's a blessing to even be with them. Like people dream of this stuff all all the time to be with the biggest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm with the biggest, so it's just like I'm ready for new levels. Right. Nah, that, and that's when I say when, when when I went back and was like, man, things are changing for you. Not necessarily your character or whatever, but yeah. your circumstance and the things available, the doors opening to you. Yeah. Just seem different. There's a lot. It feels like there's a lot of options going on. I would like there, like know. like um. One of my OGs from the city, they always told me like, bro, your success, like I I like how your success going, like how it's moving, like it's going like this. Mm-hmm. It's not going like you ain't do this, you ain't just shoot straight off, boom. Because it feel like you're gonna you're gonna appreciate it more once you get to where you're going. It might not like you ain't cause I used to stress about this type of stuff that I'm getting all all the stuff that's going on with me today. I used to stress about this stuff like you know what I'm saying? Back then, on, in, on the on the come up, on the grind, it was like I want this, man. I want to be doing this. I need to be on this. I need this look, but I never understood like time served. Like mm-hmm. when you get, it's perfect timing mm-hmm. for everything. When it come, when you get to that point, it's gonna be laid out for you. You know what I'm saying? Like God don't make no mistakes. Plus, plus it, it feel like, look, man, get it however you live, right? But it kind of feels like when you take the long road, yeah. It can't take it away from you when it's built. Yeah, it, yeah. It's like when you finally get those things that you deserve. Like and you get them real core fans. Right. Like these people locked in with you no matter if your music stops selling tomorrow. Like, do you, right. do, do you ever think how different your career would have been? I, I know that Akon approached you. Yeah, originally. Did do you ever think like in about 2016 or something like that? Do you ever think about how different it might be if that situation would have worked out? Yeah, it could have probably been different. Like I probably wouldn't have liked it. Right. Yeah, so I don't know. But you, how, how did you know then? Did you have a clear idea then of what you wanted? And, and, and... Now you got to understand, like, at that point, I haven't even touched hmm, a quarter million yet. So it's like, if he would have offered me, you got to understand I'm coming from the bottom. I'm coming from the dirt. So right. you got to understand, like, we ain't used to nothing like that. If he would have put that on the table or put that in my face, that was a distraction. Mm-hmm. I would have went with that mm-hmm. back then. You know what I'm saying? But it took me for, like, for me to go and wake up on them and just know like my worth. I know what I'm really worth. I need to hold up. I need to hold up on it. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing that a lot of people need to hear too. And shout out to Akon. Akon's made tremendous careers. He does yeah, you know, yeah, nah, he, I sure. heard he's building a city in Senegal. Yeah, I just like, seen that. Like and all of that. that. I just so, saw that too. But knowing the, the right situation for you yeah. and the right time to move. Gotti, you know, and you and him linking up. That was like dip, the right it situation. Was, it was the right situation. <laughs> ain't no disrespect to a no con in that situation. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's like God, it's like we was already tied in through the streets through too many people. It was like a family already before we even did the deal for paperwork. You know what I'm saying? God gave me like he did like five songs with me before like even paperwork was done. Like so, he so you, me out. He you could have not out. have signed the paperwork and still, and still left had with those the God yeah, st- and still had the five songs. He wasn't even tripping about that. Like he flew me out to Vegas. I think we right. was in Vegas in the penthouse. We recorded all the room. I mean, all the songs in the middle of the living room. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like he showed me love before end of the paperwork, end of the business. So, was there any hesitation? Just because North and South Memphis traditionally don't pose to be right. Yeah, traditionally. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. I think I'm one. I, I think I really changed it. Which is dope. Which I think I is, think I'm really the one to right. change it. Like. I really, I did really change that, bro. Right. Like, cause it was ugly. It was like they, they never would have got it. They now it's like they understand. Even though when it was going on, when it was heated, it was like 
the ops from over there in, in, in the north. Like I'm from the south, so it's like the ops from over there in the, in the north. They still were banging me. They still were right. bumping my music. I still were hearing through, cause you know, like females, they connected. You right. hearing through the streets, like you know what I'm saying. Like man, they like dude slamming my ear up, but he slamming like you know what I'm saying. Like this what they this what they was saying mm -hmm. on me coming on my situation. But it's like at the end of the day, bro. Like what is what is this about? Like we can't beef about nothing small. Like what is this about? Like what are we doing? Like you know what I'm saying. So it's just like. It wasn't no money. It wasn't about no no money. You know what I'm saying? So it's like made the situation like I I, squ I did the whole so, situation. So you think like, things are different now in the city in Memphis? I feel like people still got their ways. Now it's like you got people in East Memphis don't like people in South Memphis. People in right. South Memphis, it's just it's like that now. It's up there now. Because because if I if I'm being honest, and Regardless. I think it's, it's the other way around, being from New York or if you're from LA, I think if you're not, I think to kind of understand what's going on in Memphis, you yeah. have to be from Memphis. Yeah. Like we might not understand the politics the same way. I remember one day Bun B came, and he was like, "Man, we don't know the difference between Brooklyn and Queens and yeah. and and Harlem and we not from New York. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know what's, what it is. But but if it feels like there's a bigger picture, and, and I never quite understood. It was funny even interviewing Memphis artists. Um, who come on the show or the various places that I work? I ain't gonna lie, I never quite figured out who was beefing with who, who rocked with who, what were the politics. It was always weird to us, but it kind of feels like as time is going on, those walls are kind of starting to break down, exactly. and and it feel like the situation is 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 getting big again in Memphis because Memphis got a strong history of music. I feel like a lot of people coming together. I feel like yeah. it's coming together, but you got people, you still got people like I'm listening. You know, it ain't just North and South beef. You know what I'm saying? You, everybody, if you got beef with somebody, everybody, it's all through the city. It's still right. It still go down. It is what it is. I, I, I want to throw out you uh, a. Classic. But I will say you can't let uh, situations affect like you and your like your family. Like you can't like some stuff like is way bigger than this, way important than that. You got to think about your family at the end of the day. We do all this stuff in the streets, but we still got to go home. Like we still got to, you know what I'm saying? Look at our kids and look at our mamas and all that. You know what I'm saying? You got to. You got to want to see better for that. All right. So, of course. All right. I'm, I'm going to throw um, a classic Money Bag Yo lyric to you. What and you, what, what and I, I, I want to know if you remember where, where it's from. Let me see. He we dug in the crates. <laughs> All black hoodie like I'm Trayvon. Yeah, they tried me, but I had two guns. I let those shots. They got to running like a relay. One to his head, hit his chest. He did the nay nay. Oh, this is like a freestyle or something. <laughs> a little so. This is a little freestyle. Damn, what I said to them. MGU pushing. Oh, that's old. Oh, that's super old. That's, that's before federal. Like, of oh, course. You know what I'm saying? I just told somebody that the other day, like, me and Black Youngster was in a group together, well, MGU, yeah. That, that was, was my like, follow up question. Oh, yeah. that was on that joint. It was like on, uh, damn, what's the name of that song? It's called Push It. Okay, Push Yeah, yeah. But oh, yeah, yeah, with all of us on it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, bet. So, you see, th th that, that was the question. That was the follow up because I, I, I think it was interesting and you can still, I don't know if you want people to see it, you can still follow, see the video on YouTube. No, you still like, it's, it's still there. up there. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, um, but I ain't tripping. I think it's dope uh, to see you and Black Youngster. Yeah. In a group together with with, with many <clears throat> others, um, and um, Memphis greatest underrated. Exactly, we were trying to like it was just like it was about whoever broke first. Like, right, youngster ended up breaking first. I broke right after him. Unfortunately, nobody else right. was behind it. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it's it's all on you. It's all on your hustle. It's what you put into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everything was on them. Did, did y'all think back then that y'all would be in this position? I, I guess that's what y'all planned for is what you're saying. Is 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 like you, you, no, you knew but youngster some, like, had to make it. Yeah, 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 we did. But youngster, he was like, he used to always tell me, like he used to pull me to the side. He was like, man, you gonna be the one. This was before he wow. like we just I was in, he was like, You gonna be the one though. Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, you a rapper now, nigga. Like, bro, you gonna be like, I'm telling you, you're gonna be right. big. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he seen it too. He seen it before I did too. I ain't really just seen it. Like I'm telling you, like re my reason for rapping, bro, was to get money. Like we would like, it was like we, we trying to escape the streets. We trying to get out the street. The streets so up and down. You managing five and ten thousand. You know what I'm saying? You go re you 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 sell what you sell. You come you re up. It's like the same. It's a cycle. It's You're like the doing same. We ain't, you put up what you put up. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a it's the same cycle. And it feel like boom, like, but you still got people to take her up. So it's like, man, what else can we do to make this like better? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got in rap because I seen people getting twenty five hundreds and four five thousands off shows. I was like, I can do that too. 
Let me try it. And I tried it and it and it worked. I got twenty my first twenty five hundred for a show. Mm. Got my first twenty five hundred for a show for my first show. I sold it out. Like I think Gucci Man was locked up around that time. It's right. like they thought Gucci got out of jail or something around wow. this time. You know what I'm saying? They thought Gucci got out. I sold out a club. It's called uh Dream. It was called Dream in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Like I sold it out. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like from then on, it was like star status. Then you did you did the, the Yo Gotti birthday bash too, which is oh uh, yeah, there's another the there was, was another classic I did I did Gotti birthday bash and it was just like he had like we did it was like Mud Island it was like five thousand people uh-huh. the whole stadium like you know what I'm saying I was like dang this shit real it took like, you by surprise it took me by surprise so the prices went up now of course yeah mandatory and now and I think it's dope and the reason why I bring up MGU is because to see where you and Black Youngster are now yeah and collaborating you know even on this tape and stuff like that it, it's always dope to kind of look back at least as fans to see how things started yeah, um, yeah who were your influences back then like I know the influence was to get out the street but were you studying anybody as far as like cadences or flows or I mean before like you talking about before I, was, I started rapping and all that yeah like when you first started nah, cause it feet, was like, like though, I'm telling you I was in the streets like my influences my my role models were like dope boy I wanted right. to be like the, the, the niggas that were trapping like I want to be like them I want to have all that they got cars they they floating you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. they got the can the car like, I want to mm-hmm. come like that then when my influences like then when my role models into I told you like I wanted mm-hmm. to I saw better like people started getting locked up people started dying you know what I'm saying so it was like man look how we gonna do this you know what I'm saying we need to I'm trying to go this whole I'm trying to go a whole nother way you know what I'm saying that's what I did bro that's dope um, I want to talk about you and Lil Baby real quick. Y'all got the joint you played. Yeah, correct. The joint video yeah. just came Streets out. Eating up there. Y'all got a ton of collaborate all of a sudden. FWM, my dog remix. Like, no there's cut. a lot of there's a lot of money bag, yo, Lil no Baby. Cut bank, we got a lot of them. Y'all ain't never talk about doing a project together. I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Like- we actually, it's so crazy because we actually posted done a project before. I think I dropped the reset situation, mm-hmm. like. Before I did like reset with my first album, we probably done like a collab before that one. But you know how it be like we just be moving. But I I really feel like it's in the future though for sure. We still ain't on the one with you and Kevin Gates too. Man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's it, another. See, you guys, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. I got so many like in the works. Like right. Yeah. Nah, man. That that that's super dope, man. And and definitely wanted to have you come on the show, man. Definitely wanted to talk to you because I, I I think um. Your music is going, it's only going up. And and I think there's a lot of people in tune with your movement and you see it with your popularity. And and, and I think the people who aren't need to be in tune again, because there's a versatility yeah. to it. We we had talked about it. And, and and I really, I really respect that about you. You're not afraid to gotta at this point, like people be telling me out there all the time, like, bro, like you got these folks in the headlock so much, you can say your ABCs, but I just love I love the crap. I love the, I got a passion for music. I want them to really understand me. I don't want to just say my ABCs. I want y'all to get what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Um, two, I wanted to ask you the big single off of this right now is, is you and Meg the Stallion. Yeah. All all that. That. All and that. we and we know that y'all were in a relationship mm-hmm. and y'all currently not in that relationship. When yeah. were, were y'all together when that song was recorded? Yeah, versus yeah. when we heard it? So yeah, yeah, we was together around the time we dropped the um dropped the song. I think we was in Cali. Okay. We did the, the song in Cali. Then we end up shooting a video in like Cali, Malibu, Malibu too in Cali. Okay, that's dope. And then whatever things don't work out in your relationship, yeah. But it don't stop the business of yo. This song still needs to come out. Now the song, People need, the, still song needs to the song was already song out. Was out. The song was already out, going crazy. Video was already out. Probably like at fifty million right now. It's like mm-hmm. it was just, it just was going crazy. And then you know situations happen. Shit like that. What, is the door still open for more collaborations with it? Like, is, is it amicable? I don't really know. You know what I'm okay. saying? You never know what the future holds. Because, you know, I I, I think I think the song is, is dope. And nah, the song nah, is obviously nah. a hit. It's one. Yeah, it's so, a hit for sure. Listen, I think man, it's gold right now. I think. Y'all don't be selfish. Just dope. because it ain't work out, we need y'all to be a dose about this. We need more collaborations. We need more hits, more smashes. So hopefully yeah. y'all work that out. Yeah. Nah, but that's dope. Um, What's next for you, man? You said Deluxe is coming out, right? You adding- I got the Deluxe. Uh, uh, I ain't going to give you a exact date on that mm-hmm. one. Um, I got the Deluxe. I'm adding four songs to Time Serve. I got, um, what else I got? I got the clothing. I right. got the Bread Gang apparel. Right. I got the 24-hour um short film. That's the movie. I'm just, I'm working, bro. 
Nah, that's dope, man. Well, For you sure. definitely gotta keep coming back in and checking in with, in I with guess. us. In the time, I've been through here like a couple times, but in the yeah. time, you need me to come through, I'm coming. Of course, and you know, we're gonna keep checking them lyrics because there's a lot of real shit in there, man. For and, sure. and, and I love, you know, again, looking deep into what you're saying because. Cause a lot of it ain't surface level. Most of it is mental. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, so we appreciate you. We appreciate y'all for watching. Definitely check out that time serve. Let me know what's your favorite joint. Let me know what's your favorite money bag yo joint. You know I be in the comments every week talking with y'all, so I'm gonna talk back. All right. <laughs> yeah. This is for the record. See you next week. Peace.